Hey guys, Accurize here. Just wanted to show you this little tutorial I decided to throw together. I'm not an expert by any means at this, but uh, this was a simple little way to uh, take a primary image and have a secondary image. Part of the secondary image I wanted to crop out and put it onto the primary image. So this is how I did it. I don't know, there might be a better way. If so, let me know. Post it in the comments. And let's get started here. So we'll open up the primary image that I want to work with, and I have it saved as a Photoshop file because I've done some editing of this particular picture already. Okay. Now what I want to do is, um, this is a trucking game and uh, I want this particular run that I'm doing from Salzburg to Nuremberg on uh, Euro Trucker Truck Simulator 2 I want is, is a uh, hazardous materials run. So I want to put a little placard up here that's a uh, hazardous material placard uh, for flammable liquids. So what I did was I went and got a second image of just the uh, the placard. So I'm going to open that now. Here we go. Had a couple of them. I decided this one looked a little more crisp. So, alright, open that one up. And now we have two different images to flip between. So now we're going to work here. What we want to do is, it's a little big right now. Um, if I put it over here, it would cover the entire, the, the entire screen, uh, or the entire picture that I'm working with. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, lower the image size. That looks pretty good. And now I don't want this white around it. I just want the diamond area, the orange area. So now I'm going to uh, go ahead and magnify a little bit, make it easier to work with. That should work. And now I'm going to use this uh, polygonal lasso tool. Since I'm dealing with straight lines, I'll use this one. If I was dealing with a picture of someone, a uh, person, for instance, I'd want to use the magnetic, lots of curves and stuff like that. So polygonal for this one. It's all going to be straight lines. Straighter the better, actually, for this one. So just go around and click where you want to cut out. Okay, there we go. It's all flashed and selected. And... Uh, you have to, st wherever you start is where you have to end in order to get it to select. So that's why I went all the way around and then reconnected here. So, alright, now I'm just going to take the move um, button, press that, and now I'm just going to left click as I hover over top of it, over top of my diamond, move it off the screen slowly, pull it up here to hover it over top of my Euro Truck Simulator. Um, title up here. Wait for it to change over like it did. And then as I'm still holding down the left mouse button, I'm going to bring it back down again. And then I'm just going to release it once I get over top. There we go. So here it is. Now if, if I wanted it over top of the letters, I would simply just uh, move these layers. I don't need these layers here. But if I wanted it over top of your truck simulator, or let's say Salzburg to Nuremberg, I'd simply just move it up in the up here and as I'm holding left mouse button. Release, there it is, it's on top. So, but that was fine where it was at, so we'll put it right back down where it was. Now I need to move it where I want it. Kind of wanted it up here. But see, yeah, it's, I, I like how it's kind of slightly off the screen at the top, but I want it to be underneath, tucked underneath the black here. So I'm just gonna move it down to where that rectangle is. It's a, one of these two black rectangles. Move it down one more here. There we go. Tucked itself in there real nice. So that's how you move one image over to another. And then you can just uh, right click on it, blend. You can uh, do some little effects to it here. So I can, you know, I could add a st stroke, which kind of adds an outline around it, like so, if I wanted to. Um, I could kind of bevel the edges there a little bit. I think that looks kind of good. Um, add texture, that eh, doesn't look good at all. Uh, inner glow, nah. Let's see outer glow. That's pretty good. But I think enough's glowing on the screen, so I'm just going to leave that off. And then maybe a drop shadow. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Kind of gives it a little more three-dimensional effect. So I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, now I can just go ahead and uh, make any other changes I needed, and save it, and go from there. But that's how you get this little diamond or your second image on top of your first image. Thanks.